Report with an acronym for Rural Education and Prevention of Ocular Trauma, a pilot project. Ocular trauma can result in a wide spectrum of tissue lesions of the jaw, optic nerve, and adnexa, ranging from the relatively superficial to vision threatening injuries. An important step is acquisition of data to design appropriate preventive and therapeutic interventions. As you all know, prevention is better than cure to eliminate what we call as blind person years, which is defined as the number of years lived by a person in blindness. And especially in children, it is much greater when they are blind or angle, where we documented a case series of 916 patients who suffered ocular trauma for a period of five years. The injuries were classified according to the Birmingham Eye Trauma terminology. And in our study, 16.7% were in the pediatric age group under 15 years, and the local risk factors were identified and classified according to their age, and also rural and urban. This was the age distribution of cases, 16.7% uh, pediatric, 83.3% adult. And uh, these, are, uh, these are the rural risk factors for ocular trauma pediatrics, stick being the predominant, followed by stone blunt injury. Based on the study, we designed what we call report, which is rural education and prevention of ocular trauma. The components of this project are, it's a knowledge, action and prevention project, consists of three tiered system. Uh, the level of intervention at the base of the pyramid is the village schools and the students, teachers and the parents are uh, targeted. We then have the primary health center where the doctor and the health worker are addressed. And in the hospital, we address the patients and their attenders. The educational media that were used for this project, uh, we designed one uh, poster and a pamphlet in the native tongue Telugu, uh, depicting the local risk factors and an educational pamphlet that was distributed to the school children during the project, and a PowerPoint presentation given to the school teachers and also the primary health center workers who actually go into the field. In the first edition of report, we conducted it in the Kanapuram village in the Kanapur mandal of the Warangal district on the 8th of July 2008, where about 700 school children were addressed from five different educational uh, institutions. Apart from a general talk, uh, I personally went to each and every classroom and spent about 10 to 15 to about half an hour talk with the kids. We had interactive sessions with the school children, and uh, we have this. Uh, divided the local risk factors for a pediatric age group based on study uh, during playtime among animals classroom, uh, classroom related. And in playtime, stones, sticks, bow and arrow, and jilakata variant of gili danda are very common in rural areas. Ball related injuries with cricket and fish hook injuries are also commonly seen. Uh, firecrackers among animals, dog bite, bullhorn, hen beak are uh, very common injuries. But in our study, we also documented peacock and crane beak injuries. Classroom related injuries, we've asked the children to be very careful with uh, sharp objects like pencils, blades, compass, pens, scales, and also teacher related injuries to students have been addressed. Uh, the pearl of my talk, uh, I would summarize it as uh, prevention is of utmost importance in eye injuries as the prognosis is highly variable and loss of vision is immediate and at times permanent. In its first edition of report, we have addressed 700 school children, 45 teachers, and 10 primary health center workers. Our motto is, an eye save is as good as an eye gain. More villages are being identified, and I'm going to Nandaram village in the Husnabad Mandal, Karimagar district, in the first week of September to address the school children there. Uh, the whole vision of it all, to have one poster in each and every classroom in all village schools of Trans Pradesh, and to extend this initiative with the help of the government, and uh, the educational pamphlet that we've designed uh, to be printed behind the government notebooks as a part of public awareness. Uh, look at their smiles. It's, it's a perfect reflection of their emotions in their uh, pure little unblemished hearts, a reflection of God himself. Uh, let's tell them uh, to protect their eyes because they have a wonderful life and a long way to go. Let's help them live life to the fullest because they are the future of our nation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Vipin. That's a wonderful presentation. You have taken us into the small villages of Andhra Pradesh. Very, very nice. Can I ask?